How did you get into show business? How did that all start out? Oh, I used to act at school and whatnot, and uh, they said I should be an actor, but I wanted to be a jockey. <laughs> Safe by local. I always felt that it was no different than the school play, because otherwise they're always told about these things coming to, you know, a climax and being such a huge success, and then all of a sudden it's over. So to me, Broadway and the Artful Dodger was the height of anything I ever imagined, because I didn't look any further than that. Then the Monkey started. I didn't think, oh, is it going to be a hit? Are we going to still be filming next year? I didn't know anything about that. I didn't know that they have to promote and sell and get sponsors and do all that stuff. I was just, you know, 19 years old and I was quite naive because my whole life from being 11 years old was all about theatre, television um, and radio especially. I did a lot of radio as an 11, 12, 13 year old. The theatre of the mind. I had to read Morning... And the morning story comes from 11-year-old Davy Jones from Manchester. Well, it all started when me and Nobby was going down road, and, all, and I, it was a let, listen with mother, they called it. And I read the morning story quite often. I was in plays on the radio. I was in plays on the television where I played a little, you know, a little 12, 13-year-old. And then the Oliver situation happened, and I not only played in that, that uh, uh, show in London, but I transferred to America. I was 15 years old. I had an apartment on 45th between 9th and 10th. They called it Hell's Kitchen. Me and with my smarts, immediately started dating a Puerto Rican girl, you know, because, uh, or whatever it was, hold hands and walk down the street. She had a big brother. So I was safe there. You just play the angles, you know, and um, so far this, um, this has worked for me. I don't go gung ho. I don't I gung ho. I don't. I'm not really a Hollywood party person. I'm, I'm saying I wouldn't go if it was available, and I wanted to go out instead of going, you know, to uh, um, another occasion. It's interesting. I just don't fill my life full of any one thing. You know, when you've got family and friends, you need to space your time out. And how much time do you have? That's the hardest thing for me to deal with. That somebody else partly has the control of my being here and not being here. So I try to make it fit. Every day is the only day in the rest of your life. That's the way I feel. And um, as I say, change the way you look at things and the way you look at things will change. And I'm very happy. There's no way to happiness. Happiness is the only way. So it's not a religious thing or, you know, I'm not trying to... Uh, I just preach my own way of doing things. You know, everything... Uh, Fagan said, everything in moderation, my dear. You know, too much gin is a bad thing for a young girl. So, you know, not too much of everything, just a little bit of everything, and then feel other people's emotions. That's how you do it, by sharing their occasions. It's not where you are, what you're doing, it's who you're with.